I'd like to show today one of the projects I did for our shed out back. I recently installed a 30 amp uh, service out to our shed, which is located about 100 feet from the house. Maybe a little more. 100 feet? About that. Anyway, I uh, recently finished up the project. It took about a week. One day was digging, the other day was running the wire, whatnot, then installing it in the shed and running the wire in there. Anyway, we have, we'll start off here in our laundry room, our main service panel. <clears throat> we have a 200 amp main panel. I know, it's a small panel for for uh, 200 amp, but it's mostly electric heat. Electric heat, electric water heater, wa well pump and everything. But um, you can see here, this breaker, double pole 30 amp breaker is for the shed. Uh, wires run underneath the house and out to the shed. Um, uh, it goes to a box on the outside, so I'll bring you to that box now. From the laundry room, it goes underneath the crawl space from the box, comes out to here, where we have the two boxes. One is for coax, the wires run under the ground already, but we did not connect the coax to this box from the house yet. Um, and this one is the wire for the shed, which is 10 gauge, 4 conductor. We have the red and black that are labeled for the two hots. The neutral is the white one, and we have the ground uh, from the house. From here, it goes underneath the ground, three quarter inch conduit for 18 inches deep. Uh, about right here is where it goes up to 14 inches deep only because of a few roots, but then it goes back down to 18. From here, it comes up the uh, conduit bodies. This green is for the ground rod. Our local area only requires one ground rod. It's uh, two inches under the ground, eight feet uh, copper clad ground rod with uh, number six stranded wire. Uh, we have going here and we have the wiring and everything. Here's our panel box that comes in. The conduit comes up can't see it really well. I don't want to move this speaker. Uh, conduit comes up into the panel. We have our main back fed breaker here. Still got to get a retainer or labeling here. We have the labelings for the indoor lights here. These labels, these breakers are rated for switch duty. Um, I don't know if it's going to focus for me. Probably not. These labels are rated for switch duty, which is SWD. Um, although they're not turned on and off a hundred times a day, they're turned on once in the morning when I'm out here, and they get shut off at night. So that's it from there. Wiring comes out. We have these labeled. We have the boxes. This, uh, this one's for the outdoor lighting. Breaker dedicated for that. Comes around. We got one over there. That one over there. And we have the outlets on the ceiling for the lights up there. Um, as per the NEC, exposed Romex can be uh, exposed as long as it follows the building's contour of the wood. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's always debatable whether it's really susceptible to damage. Uh, this is a storage shed, but a lot of it here, I mean, it's not really in crowded areas. Everything's exposed and out of the way. Uh, so anyway, we have the rest of the breakers here. We got one for the indoor outlets, outdoor outlets. We got one for the other outdoor outlet, and we have one dedicated on the outside for the pool. In the future, we might put a uh, line underground and run it over there on that tree uh, that has a little hook, green hook thing on there. That one would be for a floodlight on the tree and an outlet for Christmas lights for the summer. Um, that's pretty much it as far as that goes, but it's a 30 amp service. It's a 30 amps at 240 volts and 60 amps at 120. Uh, perfectly fine for me running the stereo. Uh, I could run the heater. I could also vacuum, uh, run the saw and the drill and whatever else I want to run at the time uh, while not having to worry about the pump tripping out while I'm uh, for the pool pump, which is only about an amp. Uh, I really could have actually probably just gotten away with one 20 amp circuit out here, but you know what? You run the wire once, it's the same amount of work. It's just another hundred dollars, so I figured why not 
put it out. So I think the whole the whole problem with this project was the digging. That was the hardest part. And uh, I'm pretty much used to the digging though. Installed sprinkler system out here. That's that's featured in my other video. All right.